Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Birdie once again back with another video here on YouTube and today we are going to move on to step two or day two or whatever you want to call it of our beer making process. Let me explain what's going to happen. I am going to bottle beer. If you didn't see the first video in this series, go back and watch it. I will definitely link it down below and in that video you can watch me failing miserably at brewing beer. Anyway, we're back today. We're going to take the beer that's in the jug thing and then we're gonna put it in some bottles. I do have to warn you, I took a little longer than I should have to get to this process. So it's been like two weeks and a few days. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be no more than 10 or something like that. So here we are back again with another episode of Birdie Fucks Up. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Listen, it'll be it'll be fine. I, the beer will be disgusting, but that's not what matters, right? It's about the journey. I am gonna go get the stuff so we can start working on this. All right, as you can see guys, we have beer. I think, maybe. It's some form of beer. <laughs> it actually looks okay to me. I am surprised. I thought maybe I left it in there way, way, way too long. But in looking at it now, there actually were a lot of bubbles the other day, a lot more than there are now. And I thought that amount of bubbles was normal. But now I'm thinking that this is the appropriate amount of bubbles. <sighs> Dova, will you please go lay down? Your nails are so loud. She's just looking at me. Anyways, I think this beer looks better than I thought it was going to. It is gross. It's got gross stuff around the outside. We can see all this. I think this was called Trub. It looks a little bit like vomit on the bottom, but overall, I think this looks okay. It looks like it's, it looks like it's settled. <gasps> I shook it. Hopefully now we can move forward with this without poisoning ourselves. Okay, so we've got everything we need. We have our beer. We have the cleaning stuff. I assume I have to clean this shit again. And then we have the various tubes and this one is the, this really cool little bottle capper, bottle capper. We still have our fermenters fizz drops. We still have our fermenters favorites oxygen, oxy, oxygen absorbing caps. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the instructions. I have two, right? Is this, I don't know what this shit is. What is this? Oh, I had to buy, <laughs> these are instructions to a black light because I had to buy a black light so I could go around my house and find all the places that my dog's pissed. Mm. This is for something I just sent uh, via the post office. I don't think we need those things. Instead, we just need these instructions. This one being the specific instruction paper for Chinook IPA. This one being general brewing papers. But again, this one's very nice. Um, laminated and whatnot. People look very happy while they're brewing this beer. For those that were not around for the first one and don't feel like going back to watch it, first, you're lazy, go do it. Second, we are making some Chinook IPA. That's what's in here. And this is from the Northern Brewer Home brew. Why doesn't any of this have like the actual name of it on it? it? It's the Northern, I think it was like the Northern Brewer Home Brew Kit, something like that. I feel like there were more words. I remember it being hard to say. Anyways, these are the things. So we've done all of this front side, this front side being day one, which is the brewing. Now we're, well, we've technically finished step two as well, which is the primary fermentation. So let me read this to you so you know exactly why we're doing it now as opposed to before, or how you know. Doba, if you knock that over, get Get out of the kitchen, go. Jesus Christ. All right, so step two was actually the primary fermentation. It says that fermentation begins within a day of brew day. There will be some bubbles and blow off that's trying to escape the jug. That's what this guy is for. That's an airlock. And then fermentation ends roughly one to two weeks from brew day. So technically we're at day 17. Oops. But hopefully that isn't too bad because like I said, I did check it a couple days ago and there were still bubbles on top. And at the time I was thinking like, oh, those bubbles are always gonna be there. Those 
they're not fermentation bubbles. That's just like bubbles. But I don't know why I thought that. I just assumed it would have been done already. But now there are no bubbles. So I feel like now it's actually ready. Whereas a couple days ago, maybe it wouldn't have been. Maybe it has something to do with all the ways that I fucked up in the first video when we brewed it and that's why it took longer. <laughs> okay, so don't be alarmed if it takes a few more days. So we're, uh, we're not being alarmed right now. So brewing is an art and a science and your beer will be fine. Brewing is an art and a science. Wasn't that, doesn't that mean I should worry about a few extra days? I, it doesn't, whatever. Number three, bottling day. <laughs> You'll need your auto siphon and hose. That's this piece of shit. Bottle filler, that's this guy. Bottle cap and capper over there. Sanitizer solution, one dozen clean. 12 ounce pry off your bottles. Now, what do they mean by clean? I did not clean these. I assume they put them into the box clean, right? I don't know. Number one, move jug to the table. Yeah, we totally already accomplished that part. Yay. Sanitize siphoning equipment. Everything that will touch the beer needs to be sanitized. Ah! Um, this say of, don't get it on your skin. Dissolve one tablespoon per one gallon of warm water. Wash surfaces with solution, no rinsing is required. If I remember correctly, last time when I asked Miss Alexa how many gallons were in, no, how many cups were in a gallon of water, she told me 16. So we're gonna get 16 cups of semi-warm water. No, we're gonna do eight cups, because last time I didn't make a whole gallon. I only did a half gallon in a big cup, a uh, bowl, bowl cup. So I'm gonna turn the water on, I'm gonna get it warm. There's like leftover chips in there from a party I had. <laughs> Oh, maybe this isn't the right one. Okay, well, whatever. It's, it'll, by virtue of putting sanitation, san, sanitization water in there, it's sanitized, right? So while that heats up a little bit, I'll see exactly how much of this I need. I need one tablespoon per one gallon. So we actually need a half a tablespoon. I don't have a half a tablespoon. Hold on, I do in the other set. Half a teaspoon. This is a tablespoon. Half of a tablespoon. This is like very textured salt granules. Wait, I'm just pouring it in here. I need to know how much it is. Hold on, wait. Ah, it's gonna spill. Okay. That was six, it's on the other side. Five, that was five cups, so we're gonna go to six. Okay, that's six cups. Is that how much I said I needed? No, I need eight, perfect. I feel like this part probably is not an exact science. Maybe this is the art part. How do you mix it? I'll use one of these guys. How did I mix it last time? I don't remember. So one half a tablespoon, cool. Ow, scratch myself. So I really, ugh, there's still stuff in here. <laughs> Gross. Ugh. Well, it's like impossible to clean out. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I should mix it. God damn it. I don't know how mixed this has to be. And by mixed, I think I mean melted. Let's do this guy, this little guy first. I like him. Oh wait, I don't really know what to do here. I need a jug. Wait, am I supposed to be touching this? I think it said to wash your hands if you touch it. <laughs> Hmm, no, I'm just getting everything wet. Okay, well, I mean, that's like good enough, right? Good enough, yes, I've determined. Now this one, I can make this one do all pumpy weird stuff, right? How do I do it? Oh, this was, yes, yes, watch. I'll clean it this way. Ew, ew, there's gunk in it. Why isn't it coming out though? Ah, it just takes a while. I guess you have to like pump up the jams a few times before it's uh ready to go, huh? Pump, pump it up, pump those jams. Pump this thing real clean. Pump, pump, pump it up, pump this jam. Pump this siphon clean, bitch. This is a good way to clean. Oh, this is a good way. Don't drink that. <laughs> This is a good way to clean this. It's disgusting. Oh, it's disgusting. Cause gunk actually came out of it, which I don't, I'm not a fan of. I think that's all of it. I don't, do I need to put these in there? I guess I do. They're gonna touch the beer. Oh, there is some dust on them. Yeah. But I don't wanna put them back in there. Cause it's cardboard. Just set them over right here. The thing is though, now all this stuff's gonna be wet and it says you don't need to dry it, but like, does that mean that it doesn't need to be dry when you use it? Or does it just mean that it's fine for it to air dry? Oh, you know what? I really should go back to reading the, the one that's specifically for the Chinook. I am sanitizing far more, far more, far far more thoroughly than I did the first time around. So you guys should be very proud of me. Not that this is thorough, but it is more thorough <laughs> than the first time around. Okay, all of that is done. All right, I was smart enough this time to take a quick minute to restart the camera before it stopped recording. Now, let's see if the sound will keep working because that's another thing that fucked up last time. Anyways, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Oh, I forgot that I left some chocolate over here for myself. <laughs> Next up, clean up all this fucking water. How is this, oh my gosh, this is laminated, but it's still getting waterlogged on the inside. That's bullshit. I protest. I don't know what I'm protesting. I boycott, that's what I meant. <laughs> Guys, this beer is gonna be so bad. The more I think about it, the sadder I get. <laughs> I wish that I just, I, I might at, at some point buy a 
another one and try it again just so because I, you know the first time is always tough when you don't really understand what's going on and now that I'm mostly through the process there's a lot of stuff I figured out along the way so I might brew a second batch at some point what next all right so bottling day let's see auto siphon and a hose a bottle filler yeah yeah we already got all that stuff two weeks after brew day blah 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 blah, blah. there's a lot going on during bottling day a second set of hands is a big help and can usually be paid in beer why would you need a second set of hands it's just this going into those and that can't flop out of those like it did before <laughs> that's weird to me I don't know move the fermentation jug we already did that sanitize the gear auto siphon and hose bottle filler all the bottles about 20 bottle caps I have to I don't want to okay I'm not sanitizing the bottle caps they are in a sealed container they're in a sealed container I'm not doing it connect one end of the hose to the auto siphon and the other end of the hose to the bottle filler I was right I guess right about that part Ow! <laughs> That thing slipped and like shaved a layer of skin off the top of my hand. Ow! <laughs> I don't think that's sanitary. <laughs> Why do I keep hurting myself? Who knew making beer could be so fucking dangerous, man? Ow! Look, I'm like peeling layers of skin off my hand. Ow. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, now let's try that again. Get in there real good, real good. Now let's start the siphon and fill the bottles. We might get to put the fizzy bit. Oh, step 18. Remove the airlock and stopper from the jug and place the auto siphon into the beer. Let's take this off. <laughs> okay, well, it's off. I smell our beer. I mean, it smells beer-ish. Yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Can that go in there? No. I was really, really hoping it would. Da, 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 da. Beer. Yeah, I mean, it smells kind of like beer. I, Like I said, I have never had a Chinook IPA, so I don't know if it has any sort of specific smell. Okay, beer bottle. Um, It looks like unwieldy. Wait, no, that goes there. Okay. If that fucking falls over, I already see it happening. I can already anticipate this happening. You just stay where you are. Okay, how are we gonna deal with that? Don't, where are you going? <laughs> I need a cup holder, like a very heavy cup holder. I don't have anything like that. What do I have? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe this? Maybe that'll keep it put at least a little bit? Worth a shot? I mean, it's it's better than it was, right? Okay, Ooh. all right, that might actually work. Let's see. Please also, um, while holding down the bottle filler to keep the valve open, that's stupid, that's stupid. So you actually have to like push down. Hmm, how can I do this? How? <laughs> Shit, all right, hold on, hold on, I got it. <laughs> I'm a genius. Said so to leave one inch in the bottle. Is this still working? This is like working, guys. Holy shit, I did a smart. I did a smart. Yeah, queen, she filling up. She filling up, we got half a bottle. Fuck yes, fuck yes. It said leave an inch at the top, but I don't know how much that means. That's as much as I really want to put in there. How much does it say? An inch of headspace in each bottle. I mean, that's like, maybe I should do more. That's like way less than an inch. This is so difficult. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm happy with that. Just putting it up to where the neck is. I think that that will stay put, right? Until I put it in another bottle. Oh my God, guys, we filled our first bottle of beer. Can you see it? It filled to about right there. That's so exciting. Okay, we did it. We did it. The hard part is over. <laughs> now move on to the second one. I still don't think we're gonna get 12 liters out of this. This is so awkward. <laughs> but hell yeah, man, I'm doing it all by myself. Nobody needs friends. <laughs> okay, that's two down-ish. That one's had a little fuzz in it. This seems fine. <laughs> this seems fine, guys. I just hope not all of that gross ass trout is getting in there. I mean, it looks fine. It looks like beer. Like the color is right. The, I don't wanna say consistency, but the, uh, what do you, what's it called? Clarity, I guess, is correct. Well, that's three. Okay, so what, what the problem there, or the thing that makes this difficult is there is a little button essentially at the bottom of this. And you have to push it all the way into the bottom of the beer to get it to release so that the, the beer will actually go in. It's gotta be, just gotta be a better way to do this. There it, you get a friend. Okay, was this four, four Bottles. We might get a six pack, guys, but not much more. I mean, I don't know. With all the trub at the bottom, I can't really tell like how much is actually gonna end up in here. But I'll be happy if we get six, to be honest. I'd rather have six good beers than 12 bad ones, though I, I guess making the assumption that they're gonna be good is like a pretty bold assumption. <laughs> all right, one, two, three, four, five, guys, we're on our sixth beer. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> how much is left? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe two beers left? Oh no, oh God, I got all 
shrub. I fucked up that time. I gotta let this get in there. Wow. Oh. Now this is gonna come out. Ugh, this is so annoying. Why isn't there a better way to do this? I wish I could get that stuff out of the bottom. <laughs> I think we at least can fill up this beer, but I don't know how much more we'll be able to do. For the, I, I don't know how much, more. for the simple fact that the trub is starting to become an issue. Oh, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, when two, this would be our seventh beer. I'd really like to get eight. I thought about trying to filter this again, like we did before, but I remembered I don't have any cheesecloth. My hands are getting super sticky. I'm assuming it's the fault of that damn Molasses this shit they have me put in there. Hmm. Maybe we can scoop it out? Oh no, it's like sand. Um, where are we at with this one? This one's actually okay-ish. I wonder if I can get the rest of it in there. So I'm comfortable with this one. I just hope there's not a little gross shit in the bottom. So that's seven beers. We might be able to get one more out of there if I could do this. Again, I'm gonna have to let it sit again for a while, obviously, but I might be able to get one more out of there later. So let's put that there and at least put this back on top of it and then I'll mess with it later. Let's go ahead and put the bottom cap on these, which I'm very excited about. So we got these, we got these, and we got these. We have our fizz drop, our oxygen absorbing caps, and this guy. It says, add one fizz drop tablet to each bottle. This small charge of sugar will carbonate or prime our flat beer. The CO2 gas created by this mini fermentation will be absorbed by the liquid since it can't escape the sealed bottle. Thanks, science. My, I've been more excited about the fizz drops than I think anything else. I hope they actually fizzed. <laughs> One. What's it doing? Not doing anything. Literally didn't do anything. Not doing anything. Still not doing anything. Okay, well, son of a bitch. Fuck me, this is not fun. This <laughs> is gonna put fizz drops in the rest of them, close them up because they're assholes. So those are done. We have fizz in each of them. Now we're gonna get our caps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's time to bottle cap these. So it says, I'm so excited. What is this? Is this piece of fizz drop? It is. It's like a mini pop rock. I mean, it fizzed a little in my mouth, but not a lot. All right, that's easy. We put the bottle there, or the bottle cap there, and then this goes right in the center. Oh my God, it's magnetic. <laughs> uh, that scared me. I did not realize it was magnetic, and it just popped up. <laughs> the bottle cap thing is there. And we squeeze. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. How far do you squeeze? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Yay! We bottled a beer. A bottle of beer, guys. That's neat. <laughs> That's real neat. Okay, this is dry too, so I can put it back in here. Load her up, center it appropriately, and squeeze. Oh, so it just crimps it around there. Wow, that's so neat. I love the bottle capper. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay guys, I think that's it. That's literally it. That is all for bottling day. We have seven beers in their bottles. I am gonna let this guy sit here and come back a little later and see if I can't bottle maybe one or two more after that settled some. This is really neat because I have so much stuff left over. I can use all this again, this. I have lots more bottle caps and fizz things. I've got extra bottles even and one of those. So we'll be able to do this again, which we may need to because this might be disgusting. So in two weeks, I get to come back and actually open one of these up and give it a try. But anyways, you guys know me. I'm Birdie, aka the Birdie Saurus. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel here if you enjoy this type of content and lots of other types of content. If you want to get more of me all the time, everywhere, then you can also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Birdie Saurus, as well as Twitter and Instagram. Guys, I love you so much. Thanks for being here. I am honored that you chose to spend a few minutes with me. I'm sorry for the camera issues. I know that there's stuff out of focus and some of the sound was crappy and dope was running around in the background but someday I promise I'll get it all figured out <laughs> I love you so much thank you for being here I will see you next time mwah, mwah, mwah. bye guys <laughs>